Hey everyone, it's Vampire Jen. The stakes are high this year, so I wanted to take a traditional vampire look and do my own sexy spin on it. So if you want to see how this look is done, then keep watching and I'll show you how. I'm going to start off by applying a very light foundation all over my face and neck. I'm setting this foundation with a really light powder. I'm using Hourglass Powder in Ethereal Light. Now I'm taking my Benefit Hoola Bronzer and I'm going to very sharply contour my cheekbones. So I'm holding this brush at an angle by my ear. I'm just pressing this into my cheek, angling down to my mouth. I'm just working this into my skin so it becomes a very dramatic contour. I'm also contouring the outsides of my jawline. Now I'm taking a flatter brush and I'm going to contour the sides of my nose. Again, we're going to keep this line pretty sharp. So I'm going to start right at this inner corner, going up toward my eyebrow. I'm just going to blend this color out at the bottom edge. This is kind of optional, but I just assume vampires have sharper noses than I do. Next, we're going to move on to the eyes. Now I'm just taking this pencil eyeliner. This is Urban Decay Perversion 24-7 pencil. I'm going to make a half moon shape on my eyelid. This is just going to be a base for the eyeshadow, so it doesn't have to be super perfect. Now I'm taking this black eyeshadow from the Pretty Rebel palette by Too Faced and I'm just going to press this on my eyelid so that it creates a really flat black base with a little bit of sparkle. I'm taking the shadow above that original line and just softening the edge. Next I'm taking this bright red eyeshadow from Sugar Pill. And I'm going to do the unusual step of using this to blend out the black. So this is just going to hug the black color around the edge. Next I'm taking this light shade Dainty and I'm going to use this to highlight under the brow bone. Next I'm going in with this purple NYX eyeshadow to deepen this contour area right here. Just the area between the black and the red. I'm also taking this on this inner corner right here and I'm just emphasizing this little contour area. Now on the lower lash line, I'm taking this 3CE Burgundy Pencil, and I'm going to line my lower lash line and waterline. I'm lining this pretty thickly, and the outer half is going to be a little thicker than the inner half. Now I'm taking a white eye pencil, and I'm going to make a little line on the inner corners, and then the Burgundy Pencil is going to outline that line. Now I'm going to go back in with the red shadow from before. I'm going to press that into the eyeliner. Now I'm grabbing this hot pink color from the Too Faced palette. And I'm blending that through the rest of my lower eyelid. Focusing on really blending out some of those lower edges. Now I'm taking the black pencil and I'm just going to blend this into the outer third. I'm just taking a very small brush to pat black eyeshadow to set the eyeliner. At the outer edges, I'm using pink eyeshadow to connect the shading in the upper and lower lids. Now I'm just taking a clean blending brush to blend out all of the harsh edges. Now I'm taking a bit of black eyeshadow and I'm going to define this inner corner as well. I'm taking my black liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to create a very dramatic wing. I'm just pulling it up about halfway to where my eyebrow is. Next I'm going to curl my lashes and add mascara. With these really heavy looks, you can always add a few extra layers of mascara to your lower lashes. Now I'm going to add these false lashes, and I'm going to angle the lashes so they're going up along with the line of my winged liner. Next I'm taking this eyebrow wax and I'm just going to flatten my eyebrows. Now I'm taking this dark shade from the Anastasia Brow Duo. I'm just filling in my brows very sharply. Now we're moving on to the lips, so I'm going to take this dark lip liner. This is Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in Venom. I'm going to line the outside of my lips. So keeping in line with the rest of the look, I'm making everything really pointy and angular. 
So I'm starting with this V in the center of my lips, and then I'm going to draw a line straight down on either side. So I'm filling in mostly the outer edge, and on the inside we're going to do a bright red. It's going to give a lot of contrast to the lips. So I'm taking this very dark, dark color of lipstick called Shame. I'm just going to go over where I had that lip liner. Now I'm taking this bright red lipstick color, and I'm just going to fill in the inside areas of my lips. And that's just going to give you a really nice, subtle gradient to your lips. So now we're going to do the lipstick test. And that's to make sure none of that lipstick gets on your teeth. I'm just going to add in some last minute touches to really perfect the look. So this is my final vampire look. Thank you so much to Eye Candies for providing the really cool red contact lenses for this look. If you want more information on that, I'll leave an exact link down below. Also, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed my rendition of a really scary vampire. <laughs> if you did, don't forget to thumbs up the video. And subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see other really cool, fun videos too. This is Jen, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So I wanted to do my own sexy spin on a vampire look. <laughs> what is so funny, Vampire Jen? Everything is funny, Vampire Ben. I want to suck your blood. It's Vampire Jen, and today I wanted to do... Wait, wait, the stakes are high. I can't forget the pun. <laughs> it's Vampire Jen. The stakes are high this year. Whoa, I'm getting a little too excited. <laughs> it is so late at night.